Hey guys, one of the things I've run across that probably stirs up the most, uh, I don't know, d debate, argument, whatever, is is counterpoise and uh, and no radial antennas. You know, I actually own a couple. I have the um, Euro Sigmacom HF360, which is a no radial antenna. And uh, I also have the Tram 1499, which is a 10 meter no radial antenna. You know, that's really just a gimmick to sell it. Listen, nothing, you can't defy physics and nothing is magical that won't work without a counterpoise. What they're actually doing is using the coax as the counterpoise in these. As a matter of fact, if you look at the, um, when, when you buy these things on the, the manual or whatever, the write up on them, I know with the, uh, Euro, with the, the Euro, uh, Sigmacom HF360 that I own, it says right there, please use a quality 50 ohm coax. I mean, it's going to, and if you, everywhere you look on the internet, everyone's telling you this thing needs at least 50 feet of coax because what it's doing is using the coax as the counterpoise. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, selling it as a no radial is, is the gimmick and, and the problem. Um, same with the tram. I know right on the, on the container, the, the top of the plastic one, when you buy the tram 1499, it says, best function is 50 feet of RG8X uh, coax. You know, so once again, it, it's, it's just how it is and how it works. And like I said, I've, I've used both of these antennas and really have gotten some great results out of them with the, uh, for four or five years now with the, uh, the multiband HF360, I've, I've worked and I worked QRP in the Australia. I mean, that's just great. It works. Um, yeah, it's, I could do better. I could do a lot better. Just the situation I'm in, that's where it's at. You know, I took out the um, the HF, I'm sorry, I took out the Tram 1499 and put it up portable and operated with it and operated well into South America, worked quite a bit of DX and had a good time with that one as well. So there really is, you know, everyone, I think the one thing that just gets me is when you see any type of thing on, on any write-up about these and there it's always there is like that antenna won't work it's a dummy load i mean come on guys it just that 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 grates me that grates me it shows pure ignorance is what it does and not understanding that coax can act as a counterpoise listen to, to, what is a counterpoise what does it what does it do you know a, a quarter wave w vertical is basically just half of a dipole if you look at a uh, matter of fact uh, william orr he had a great great book on vertical antennas and he states in the end here that, that basically what the counterpoise is or basically the ground plane is it's a mirror it's an electrical mirror that's mirroring the uh, the other side of it. So you're turning a quarter wave ground plane basically into a vertical dipole, whereas the ground or the mirror effect of the ground is creating the other half of the antenna. And you can't defy that in, in any way. Now, what's going on if you don't have a ground plane, but you still are getting out? What you have there is you have the counterpoise doing the work, and you know the mirror. The mirror is not reflecting as well, but it's still reflecting, and you're still going to be, be able to get out. I'm going to put up a quarter wave, and what I've got with me, I've got a, um, let me pull this out here, I've got an LDG uh, one to one ballon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a quarter wave vertical, but I'm not going to put anything on it as a counterpoise. We're going to do everything, just a one single vertical wire to go up and be a vertical, but I'm going to use a long piece of I mean, 50 foot of coax and let that be the counterpoise. And I'm going to show you that a quarter wave vertical without a, without a ground plane, without verticals, without radials, whatever you're going to call it, will work. I'll be able to get out. Will it be great? No, it won't be. Will it be a dummy load? No, it won't be. It will perform. It will work. It will work. And that's all I'm trying to show you here. I'm not trying to sell you on any of these antennas that, that, that say no radial. Just want to kind of get rid of that thing where someone says it's a dummy load. It's not a dummy load. You need to understand what's going on, and what's going on is is the other side of the antenna is now the coax, and that's what we're going to do here. After I get through with that, what we're going to go to is I'm going to take this off and put on a 64 to one, and we're going to make this 16 foot five inch uh, wire that's a quarter wave for 20. We're going to turn into a half wave vertical for the 10 meter band. Now, 10 meters is a little different. A half wave 
there's there's different science and different theories and no it doesn't need a big doesn't need radials and it does as many will tell you an infant half wave doesn't need uh, counterpoise well it kind of does just doesn't need as much needs a little but what we're going to do once again is on the 10 meter band as a vertical half wave we're going to see what kind of contacts we can do there i've got a feeling i don't know what conditions are really going to be like it's a little early in the afternoon but we'll see i think you'll see that i can make contacts with the quarter wave but I will be able to do a lot better with the half wave. Anyway, let's get this thing together and see what we can do. Okay, so I'm up on top of a uh, parking garage here in my town, and I am nowhere near water. I'm way away from it. Did that on purpose. There's uh, 50 feet of coax. I'm using my uh, smaller DX Commander, the seven meter DX Commander. What I did was I have my, uh, that's a flagpole holder drive on. I've got a piece of uh, pool noodle split and it's kind of stuffed in there to keep it in place. But there it is. And then here we go. There is the ballon. And as you can see, only one wire and it is going all the way up. The top of the uh, seven meter pool, so that's about a five meter wire. And uh, we'll get inside. Like I said, I'm up four or five levels up, so nowhere near ground. So everything's going to depend on that coax right there to make this thing work. And we will see if that happens. And here inside the Jeep, I'll be using 20 watts with the Zagu G90 and my small little uh, 12 volt, 6 amp hour battery. All right. Let's see what we can do. Uh, QSL, uh, QSL, QSL, you're five seven into Norfolk, Virginia. Yeah, Roger, Roger, five nine, huh? You sure about that? I'm, I'm surprised. Kilo Bravo, Brady Whiskey Alpha, Victor, and Kilo Charlie, Brady Romeo Whiskey at uh, 0685 QRZ. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Oscar, Golf Oscar? Yes, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar, I have you 55, five, you're at 0685 QSL. QSL, I have you 55 five as well into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Roger, Roger, got the 5-5. Five, five. Thank you for uh, taking the park and have a great day, 73. Thank you, 73. Kilo Bravo 3, Whiskey Alpha Victor, and Kilo Charlie 3, Romeo Whiskey at 0685. Okay, a couple quick contacts there. Um, they look quick on video. It took me a while um, getting through, uh, especially that first one. That was tough. It was really tough. And um, I'm really, the signal report of a 5-9, good for him. I, maybe I was. Um, I don't know. But uh, it was, a, it was a, a, quite a bit of struggle to get through there. The second one took me a few tries as well, but I made it. Bottom line is, there you go. It shows that uh, without a counterpoise, a piece of wire, a quarter wavelength long, with a long piece of coax, worked. All right, now let's go and do it a little bit better. I got a feeling these will be better context, better results, and really should be um, should make my day right now is to take that uh, one to one ballon off and put up a sixty four to one un un and make a half wave vertical for ten meter band out of this. Let's give it a try. Okay, same wire, same setup, but we swapped out the. Uh, one-to-one ballon for a 64 to one on on and this thing as you can see has no place for a counterpoise wire so it is truly meant to be an infed half wave so it is an infed half wave vertical for 10 meters i think i'm going to do a lot better let's go see Kilo 4, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Uh, kilo 4? Yes, Kilo 4, Ocean, Germany, Ocean. Over, over, Kilo 4, Ocean, Germany, Ocean. Okay, 
QSL, QSL, you're 5'7 into Virginia. The name is Walt. Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango. <laughs> Thank you, 73. Kilo 4, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Roger, 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 Roger. You are 5757 to Virginia. Thank you for taking the call. All right, good morning to you, Walter. There in Virginia, from distance 51, Mike Alpha, Mike in Namibia. Thank you very much. Good morning. This is Walter Pollock, Virginia. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar 5-9. Hi, uh, you're 5-9 as well, thank you. That's 3-8 radio, listening up. Station at Kilo 4. Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Uh, Kilo 4, Ocean, uh, Germany Ocean, QSL. QSL, QSL, you're 5-8 into Virginia. Roger, Roger, Virginia, thank you. Thank you very much, Walter. I cop in the 5 by 7 QSL. QSL, QSL, thank you so much. 73, my friend. 73, Walter, that's Woody Candy, 73. Uh, Oscar, Mike, Oscar? Uh, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, golf, Oscar. 558, 58 in Tenerife. You are 58 here in Tube, Virginia. Thank you for taking the call. Thank you, see you, and have a nice uh, day. Uh, have a nice weekend. 73. To say this has been a good day might be a little bit of an understatement. I just talked to Africa um, with a wire, a piece of speaker wire, um, sitting on top of a parking garage in the middle of downtown surrounded by buildings. So pretty cool. Um, that's it with a half wave. Half wave verticals are amazing. And they are, I mean, I have made some amazing contacts with a simple, we should say simple, half-wave vertical, a 20-meter half-wave vertical that I normally build. I've talked to QRP sitting on the beach over to VK land to, to Australia, I mean, all the time, man. It's really easy. But um, to do it here today was pretty cool. What I wanted to show was really, you know, the whole, just dispel the whole no radial thing that the manufacturers threw out there. And it's kind of show that, the coax, and the better the coax, the longer the coax, and the more coax you have, is going to help in a situation like that. And you can make contacts with it. Um, there's a really good website. I mean, a really good website. And it's kind of, people ask me about my 5% uh, counterpoise when I do uh, NFED half waves or whatever. There's a good website um, by Steve Yates. Uh, he is uh, Alpha Alpha 5 Tango Bravo. And I'll put a link to that down below. Highly recommend. You want to read some good theory on um, on infant half waves? That's a good one. And uh, like I said, th this turned into a uh, a day of an infant half wave with me. I kind of wanted to basically show what was going on, that I could make a contact uh, with a, a quarter wave, but then uh, swapped it out the exact same wire, everything with just changed the transformer and went to a half wave. Unbelievable. And the cool thing about this, too, I really love, and this is the reason why I know I say this all the time. The Zygu G90, when you're on 10 meters, all I got to do is hit that ATM, ATU button and tune any antenna. I tuned it for 12. And there you go. Canary Islands uh, as well. So great DX day. Really was a lot of fun. A whole lot of fun. These are the days that I live for. Anyway, there you go. Coax is a counterpoise. It works. And, uh, obviously worked real well on the half wave for me today if you enjoy uh, hf antennas experimenting learning making mistakes having success um that's what i'm all about please like and subscribe until next time i'm walt k4 ogo 73 my friends